What's going on everybody? D. Allen Rex coming to you live with another video. I got another video. We're going to talk about the Houston Rockets and what they needed to do to, uh, to pretty much fix the situation and, 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 you know, how they can get deeper into the playoffs. Um, it's, it's really pretty much common sense. Um, I'm going to do these predictions uh, for the next round. <clears throat> these are the predictions that I did. This is April 13th before the playoffs really started. Um, these are like my first round predictions. Like this, so the predictions are pretty much been accurate, like fairly accurate. Um, it's just like I might be off a game, you know, but for the for the most part, like the only one that wasn't accurate on mysteriously was uh, the Pacers and the Cavs. I had the Cavs went in four three. I thought it'd go like seven games, but even if it didn't go seven games, I would at least expect the Pacers to win one game. But they didn't. Um, the Blazers, the Warriors, I had to win it 4-0. You know, people was like, uh, the Blazers won't get swept. Um, and I was like, oh, they getting swept. So he was like, gentlemen's bet. Uh, Blazers get at least one game. A little hot right now. Um, <clears throat> I had the uh, Spurs beat Memphis 4-3. They obviously beat them 4-2. Uh, and the Rockets beat them for, I think, for one. It wasn't for two. I think it was for one. The Clippers lost to the Jazz. I was off with this one. I was way off with this one, actually. Uh, Boston, I was off but by one game. Um, Raptors and Bucks, I think it went for two. And the Wizards went four three, four two with the Hawks as well. So, I, like I said, I've been fairly accurate for the most part. Um, I'm going to show you my last one. <clears throat> I'm going to show you my other one that I did, too, recently for round two. Um, I think I passed it. It might be up a little bit more. Okay, yeah, this is the second round that I did. Uh, this is my second round prediction. I had the Spurs beating the Rockets 4-2. This was April 30th. Um, I got the Celtics. This, uh, this is still going on, the Celtics and Wizards, so we don't know who's going to win uh, between the Celtics and the Wizards. But I had, I originally had the Celtics beating the Wizards 4-3. I'm still going with that pick. Um, I had the Cavs beating the Raptors 4-1. Uh, but I said it was going to be rigged. <laughs> and uh, they end up sweeping them, obviously. And go to state, I had the Jazz at least winning one game. Uh, so it was 4-1. So I will be doing a prediction video, probably. If y'all want me to do a prediction video, just let me know. But, you know, if not, then... I'll show y'all the next time, but as far as like the Houston Rockets, this is basketballreference.com. I'm a, I'm a huge internet geek, bro. Like I love basketball. I even go back and study all the old players when people don't understand how much I really love basketball. So, um, this, this season, as you can see that this team only won two championships, right? And I can show you guys what's really the issue with the Rockets, my internet is kind of slow, you guys, so bear with me. I'm using, like, hotspot right now. I don't have, like, any good Wi-Fi. So, okay, look at this team. Like, defensively, out of 30, they ranked 18th. So, people don't understand that. Defense really is a major key. Like you see, they, they were second offensive offense, so they play at a high a high pace. This is why the Warriors are effective as well. The Warriors play at a very high pace, and they do a lot of ball movement and offenses. Like this, this is like a a, a compliment to Mike D'Antoni. Their second out of thirty, they're they, they were second. They were rated second in offense, and defense is horrible. You know, like, people don't understand that defense wins championships. And the thing is, like, as far as, like, defense winning championships, Mike D'Antoni really doesn't a uh, coach, like, he doesn't preach defense. What they need is a coach that could really preach defense. Like, it would have been good if they had, like, Mike Brown. Like, people give Mike Brown a lot of flack, but Mike Brown is a great defensive coach. And that's why LeBron was a great defender as well. Um, if you look at San Antonio, let's see what their defense is. 
Um, okay, they're first in defense. And this is probably, I'm almost sure this is why a major reason why this team, you know, was able to beat them. You know, defense wins championships, and people don't understand that. You know, this defense, they were rated number one in defense. So I believe that, you know, what the Rockets have to do is they have to get some some more defensive players. Uh, Patrick Beverly is a great defender, you know, great defender. So I think they need some more pieces, and they need to preach defense over there. You know, they need to get some some defenders. And Trevor Ariza is a great defender too, as well. I forgot about Trevor Ariza, but you know, when you don't have a coach that really preach defense and can can show you what you have to do defensively, and you know, different like different plays defensively, then it's going to be hard for you to. You probably gonna go out there and just focus more on offense. You know, and sometimes people let their offense make up for their defense. But like I said, like the Rockets are a good team. Uh, James Harden really doesn't play any defense like that. So, like I said, they need somebody like with the Warriors. They have like great defenders over there, but they have Mike Mike Brown to come over there that preach defense. And it's the same thing with the Houston Rockets. They have great defenders, but they don't have nobody over there preaching and showing them different ways that could be effective defensively. So I think that's the problem with the Houston Rockets, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment box um, and tell me what y'all think. They had a great season, but um, they still have to, I think just defensively, they have to work on that, get a coach, a defensive coach. They need to fire the defensive coach that they have now and pretty much work on this because 18 is bad, you know, rank 18th is, is not really good. But anyway, man, make sure y'all click that subscribe button. I'm out.